What's going on you guys? So I'm here with a new video today and today you guys I got Dark Magician for you guys. A top four finishing Dark Magician list. Dark Magician in 2021, piloted by my boy, Michael Boy. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for sending me this list. I think it's just awesome, you guys. Uh, Yugi Moto in 2021, Dark Magicians, let's go. Uh, I'm super excited. It's awesome to see something uh, different, you know, doing well on the local level. Uh, took fourth place in a 35 person local. That's like crazy. The fact that this deck can even compete with the format right now is insane. But we're going to go over the deck as always, talk about his matchups, and also talk about how this deck you know shapes up especially in such a crazy format you know the the format is pretty open but there's also you know a lot of room for rogue decks and decks like this decks that people don't expect to you know pop in and really take the format by surprise but as always if you guys are new here consider subscribing hit that notification bell you guys be notified whenever i upload you'll be notified when i stream over on twitch links in the description while you're down there uh, consider joining my discord community if you want to purchase any of the cards that i talk about today or just cards in general please use my tcg player link as well as my gem accessories affiliate link a portion of what you spend on either of those sites will go back to the channel it helps me out and i really do appreciate it and last but not least if you further want to support me in the channel consider becoming a channel member by clicking that join button or by becoming one of my patreons with the usual spiel out of the way you guys i'm super excited because i mean it's freaking dark magician like dark magician is so iconic you know the blue eyes deck is super iconic uh the fact that you know players have tried for a long time now for years actually to make dark magician work it's had some slight success however it's you know it has always struggled it literally had to wait for support blue eyes got its support way faster more players were you know geared towards playing the blue eyes deck just because it was better in the fact that it had more support now at least the dark magician deck has more support it definitely got uh better cards in the last like couple years so it's great to see that players are still trying to play this deck still trying to make this deck work i think it's awesome to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the format so we're gonna get into it i'm super excited like i said as always to you know highlight anything different and this is definitely something different so let's get into it so to start we got one copy of apprentice illusion magician one copy of the fan favorite dark magician girl triple copies of phantasme as his only hand trap in the main deck I really like this choice for multiple reasons. So, Phantasme has definitely come back into the format. There's no denying. Dragon Link being the best deck has made this card just have a resurgence. However, this card is good against a plethora of decks in the format. The fact that, you know, you can drop it against almost every matchup outside of, I would say, Virtual World. You basically can drop this at any point. Almost every deck will link at some point, even in the weirdest of situations. And you can get value out of this card by dropping it. It's a 2400 body. It has targeting protection. And also, the big thing in this deck, it's level 7. If you guys look at the extra deck, the extra deck has a ton of level 7 XYZ, so that actually does come up. Do not take that for granted. It definitely does come up, probably in the grind games and stuff you wouldn't even see. So yeah, Phantasme is awesome in this deck. I think it was that perfect hand trap for this deck. If you weren't going to play this, I would say play Ash Blossom, but Phantasme gets you a body. It's level 7, and like I said, it's just a really good card this format. Triple copies of Magician's Rod, triple copies of Magician's Souls. The card that was supposed to be for this deck got overshadowed by Spiral, but literally is back in the deck where it belongs. This is literally what Magician's Souls was printed for is printed to be played in the dark magician deck i think it's awesome to see this card in the deck where it belongs this card is amazing like this card was crazy in spiral it's crazy in a lot of decks but it's awesome to see it in the deck where it is originally uh meant to be and then triple copies of the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense he he definitely played the arcana ones he sent me a picture of his actual decks i wanted to do him homage by putting the right ones the arcana dark magician to me is the most badass dark magician you can play if i was playing the deck this is definitely the version i would play i think this is such a badass version so that's just awesome that he's playing this version of Dark Magician. I absolutely love it. And then the one copy is a Red Eyes Black Dragon because you can naturally make Dragoon in this deck quite easily. Another thing about uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon is that it's actually, it is a level seven, right? One, two, three. Yeah, it is a seven. So in the weirdest situations, if this card ever does come out, like you can actually use it for maybe an X XYZ summon. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that'll come up, but you're definitely playing it for Dragoon. But you know, you got to think of all the synergy, the, all the synergy that's there between that, Phantasme, all the level sevens. I think it's just awesome. So that's it for the monsters, for the spells, triple copies of dark magical circle that's standard one copy of the magicalized fusion this lets you just fuse in from the graveyard this card is nuts sometimes you might even make a second dragoon like i mean that's just terrifying to think about but yeah this card is great one copy of red eyes fusion you don't need to bog your deck down with multiple copies you just naturally just make it because dark magician is your deck you just need red eyes so literally it's crazy so yeah this card is just fine at one my favorite card in his deck is definitely the two copies of secret village of the spellcasters i'm a huge fan of this card i think this card is crazy um it's fantastic it gets a lot of decks in the format a lot of decks struggle like literally if they're not playing spell catchers they can't play spells if they can't clear your monster and that's just nuts i think that's awesome that you can have this even backed up with dragoon because yeah for some reason dragoon is a spell caster it's crazy literally dragoon plus this against a deck that doesn't play spell caster is absolutely bonkers
through. So I think it's great that he's playing this. I just really, really like this card in the deck. Uh, one copy of Secrets of Dark Magic. It lets you fusion summon one monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand um, or field, including Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl's fusion material. So it's like another quick play fusion option. I think the other effect is, yeah, you can ritual summon, but he's not ritual summoning in this deck. So yeah, this is just a quick play. A uh, way to fusion, uh, fusion out another fusion monster. Then uh, triple copies of Soul Servant, and that's it for the spells. Onto the traps. Uh, he's playing one of my favorite traps of all time. Three copies of Dogmatic of Punishment. The extra deck is pretty free. I was a little surprised he wasn't playing like pot cards, like he wasn't playing Pot of Prosperity or Pot of Extravagance, but clearly he didn't need them. So Punishment is just such a great interruption card. I love this card just to death. You're not super reliant on your extra deck, like I said, so this card just gets you a bunch of mileage. So fantastic card. Triple copies of Eternal Soul. That's just standard. This card is like a double-edged sword, though. Be very careful. This card gets destroyed. Your whole board goes bye-bye. So just got to be careful. But uh, there's also a monster in this extra deck that I that I looked over that I know could protect protect your uh can protect your spells and traps so that's just awesome if you actually pull that off two copies of ice dragon's prison just one of the best trap cards in the game same thing with triple copies of solemn strike one of the best trap cards in the game and three copies of torrential tribute this card is just great this format well every player pretty much overextends depending on what deck they're playing they don't account for torrential and you literally just punish them with torrential and you know a lot of times they can get the turn back to you and that's all you need to have success with a deck like this so that is it for the main deck it is a clean 40 onto a side deck it's a very straightforward side deck i really like it triple copies of lancia triple copies of droll two copies of nibiru as the hand traps of choice to just combat the format they're all just very strong the one co uh, copy of dark magic attack which is the dark magician's uh searchable harpy's feather duster if you control a dark magician destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls boom there you go that was his only form of spell and trap removal in the side deck but i really like it it's searchable it's dark magic attack like i mean come on you literally be like dark magician dark magic attack like why wouldn't you it's awesome uh and then his trap cards of choice triple copies of d bear i found this very interesting but this card is really strong outside of you know link based decks it's very good against shadals it's very good against uh virtual world it's very good against the zodiac deck because they want to go xyz the virtual world deck wants to go sometimes xyz but a lot of times just synchro and you can use it against the shadal deck to stop fusions pendulums as well being able to just skip their turn in a sense is just awesome so i really like that as a you know it's a very good budget option as well and then triple copies of summon limit this is probably one of the best floodgates you can play in a deck like this this deck is a control deck you put your goon up with this the opponent's going to struggle not only that you need to tempo the game back to you you need to make sure that your opponent is playing at your speed so that you can get the advantage that you need for this deck to control the to control the game state so yeah i really like this in this deck i think it was probably the best floodgate he could play with a deck like this and then just on to the extra deck this is the monster i was talking about he's playing one copy of dark magician the dragon knight i didn't even know what this card was it's the one dark magician plus one dragon monster this card names becomes dark magician while on the field or in the graveyard your opponent cannot target spells and traps you control with card effects also they cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects like i said if you have a spellcaster plus this plus literally secret village good luck they can't activate spells they can't activate spells they can't destroy your your village like it's just crazy you can't even do it by monster effects so it's like that's just awesome you have dragoon in the gate so there's there's a lot of synergy here that if this deck is piloted correctly which clearly it was there can be a lot of awesome things that can be done with this card so i really really like this two copies of ventus that obviously goes with the punishment two copies of dragoon because you can naturally make it uh two copies of the dark magicians this card is also really cool i like this card a lot you make it with uh, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, uh, plus a Spellcaster Monster. If a Spell or Trap card or effect is activated, except during the damage step, you can draw a card. Then if it's a Spell or Trap, you can set it. If it was a Trap or a Quick Play, you can activate it this turn. If this card is destroyed, you can Special Summon both the Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl from your hand in or graveyard. Like, that's just crazy. Like, if they even get rid of this, you get your guys back. Like, that's nuts. And it also gives you the ability to activate Quick Plays and stuff like that. So I think that's just awesome. So very, very cool card. Then uh, on to the XYZs. One copy of Ebon Illusion Magician. One copy of Big Eye. And one copy of red eyes flare metal dragon they're all level sevens like i said the level seven synergy definitely comes up in this deck then to the links real quick we have the artemis uh that literally is for uh any of your like your level four lower spell casters got the one copy of m duck and the one copy of link spider uh those will just come up in random situations you can literally just um we call it you can literally just bring these out at different times you know link away your dark magicians and stuff like that so it can come up so i like that a lot like sometimes you want them in the graveyard just to have like uh, other plays and just to link climb higher so you can get into verde obviously verde for dragoon or verde for any of your fusions and then the one copy of anima because it actually has synergy with the magician soul and that's it for the deck you guys let me just run through his matchups real quick that he was kind enough to send me here 
So his matchups were he 2 owed uh, round one, he 2 owed Bird Up. Round two, he beat Medolce 2 1. Round three, he lost 0 2 to Tri Brigade Zodiac. Round four, he 2 1 Dinosaurs. And then unfortunately, in Top Cut, he lost to Virtual World 1 2, but he still got fourth place. Fourth place with Dark Magician in 2021 is absolutely insane. Shout out to you, bro. Really appreciate you. Excited to be this. What do you guys think? This is honestly awesome. I love to see different decks have success, especially in a format like this. It really proves that you can play anything you want, tailor it for the format. Uh, you know account for the top decks of the format and you will definitely have success but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to smash that like button let me know your thoughts of dark magician in this current format i think as long as a player is dedicated to a deck they will definitely find success and i think it's just awesome to see that success you know even on the local level it can definitely uh go forward to other events and definitely have more success i think it's just awesome to play a deck that you enjoy you're definitely gonna have fun with it this deck looks super fun and that's you know at the end of the day that's what the game is all about but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching